Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I'm here with the Fab Fit Fun for Spring 2021 unboxing. I'm here in the UK. I'm a UK subscriber to Fab Fit Fun and I order the box, pay for it myself, and I just want to unbox it with you and tell you a little bit more about it. If you are new to FabFitFun and you're like, what on earth is this? It's basically a customizable subscription box. So when you sign up, you, depending on your level of membership, they have annual membership, which gives you extra perks, like you can customize your box first, and you kind of get like first pick at things and you get the option of customizing five items in the box if you are a seasonal member which just means that you pay per quarter because it's a quarterly box rather than paying for all the whole year up from which i do you just get to customize the first three items in the box everyone still gets the same number of items but the ones you don't customize are chosen for you if you want to understand a little bit more about the customization process and kind of go through it with me together, I did a whole video where I just have a recording of my screen and talk you through how it all works. So I'll put a card here if you are new to the whole thing and you want to understand a bit more about customization, that should be quite a useful video for you. If you are brand new to FabFitFun and you want a discount code, I will put a link and discount and stuff underneath the video that will get you $10 off your first box regardless of where you are in the world. So yeah, you might as well take advantage of the discount if you are going to sign up. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this box and start opening it. First of all, I just want to tell you a couple of things I picked from add-ons. So add-ons is a member-only sale. If you signed up to FabFitFun, you can shop a sale on loads of different brands and items, really well-known ones, and these ones ship with your box. They do have other sales where you pay separately for shipping and stuff, but ultimately it's free shipping if it ships with your box. On the shipping topic, if you are in the UK, the shipping is only $10, which I think is really reasonable from the US, especially considering how heavy these boxes are and how big they are. Um, and then you also pay your customs charges up front to FabFitFun, which means there are no surprises, you know, up front what everything's going to cost you. And believe you me when I tell you, I'll tot up at the end how much my box is worth, but the contents of the box far, far outweigh anywhere near what you pay, even when you take into account things like charges and shipping and stuff. So, add-ons. I purchased one of my absolute favourite hair masks. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Weightless Mask. I got this for $19, whereas when I bought this in the UK, I think it was about £33 or £35, so quite a saving on this. It's the best mask I've found for my really fine hair. <laughs> I find that most intensive treatment masks or hair masks in general weigh my hair down and make it even kind of flatter and limper and this doesn't do this because it is made for fine hair this just does a great job of moisturising without weighing the hair down it's an absolute game changer and this is a 200ml or 6.7 fluid ounces full size as well so I don't desperately need this I already have one that I bought here in the UK but I love it so I didn't want to pass up the chance of getting that I also picked up in add-ons and this is a bit random but this is the silo cleaning kit and it's for cleaning airpods and phones and computers and it's just I don't know it just seemed to be what I was looking for because there's a lot of things that I clean tech wise and there's bits that are really difficult to get into with sort of general tools and stuff. So this seemed like a great option. Um, so it's got like quite a few different things actually. It's got a cleaning solution spray and a microfiber cloth for like cleaning screens and things. And then it's got all these funny little brushes and almost like q-tips or cotton buds or something similar but specifically angled to get into those bits so that's what it looks like in there and then there's also wet and dry cleaning cloths and di different things and this like funny brush and yeah it's all a bit random but something i really wanted um but couldn't really find exactly what i was after this is perfect this was only nine dollars as well so i should be able to get in all the nooks and crannies of things uh, with those so into the box. I'm going to talk you through every category and what the options were to choose from and then what I've chosen and why I've chosen it. Okay. Oh, 
so they've actually included some stickers i know i'm probably too old for stickers i am a grown-up after all but i do like stickers for planners and stuff the whole planning with crystal the channel started with planning and i'm actually getting back into planning as the year is going along and i'm hopeful that we can do things in the future so yeah i will totally make use of these in my diary or my planner so every month we get a magazine like this it usually has um like a celebrity or something on the front talking about a particular good cause that they are supporting but it doesn't seem to be one for this month but it's like a fun little magazine it has all sorts of bits and pieces adverts and stuff in there as well it starts off with a note from the editor and then we go right into what's in the box so all members get to choose from customization one and the options in customization one were the alice and olivia daisy print duffel bag worth 150 dollars the Pericone MD Essential FX Acyl Gluthone Rejuvenating Moisturiser, which is worth $98. The Short Stories LED Indoor Planter and True Leaf Markets Italian Leaf Large Leaf Basil Seeds, uh, worth $60 and then $2.59 for the basil seeds, which looks like this. There was also the Monroe Classic Watch in sunburst soleil rose which looks like this worth 105 dollars and the jenny kanye water hyacinth tray with cutout handles looks like this that's worth 45 dollars and then the tech candy uv sanitizer which is basically something you put your tech in and it cleans it with like uv technology that's worth 60 dollars and the milk makeup watermelon brightening face mask mini watermelon brightening face serum 44 dollars the shoshana umbrella which is 40 dollars which is from a previous box but they bring things back because they know people like them or finally the calpac set of three packing cubes in sorbet and they are worth 40 dollars okay so what did i choose i actually got two things from this category so in case you're not aware you get to choose one from each category but you also have the option if they have stock to order an extra item so i selected the hyacinth tray by jenny kane which looks like this um, it's got little handles in. I'm thinking of just using it as a bit of a decorative thing, maybe to like put some candles on or some skincare or something. I might even use it in my background somehow. I'll figure it out. But I really liked the idea of that. I did consider things like the moisturiser, but I've got lots and lots of moisturiser. The indoor planter was only available in the US. And Canada but the seeds weren't available in Canada. The watch, I've got lots of watches. Um, the hands, the UV sanitizer, I can't remember whether you could get that in the UK but it just wasn't something that appealed to me anyway. Milk makeup, not something I need. The umbrella, not something I need. And the packing cubes, I actually selected that when it was um, first offered in FabFitFun. So the other item I paid the extra $15 for was the duffel bag. So I'm an absolute sucker for bags and I really like the daisy print on this. Now I know it's unlikely we're going to be travelling very far anytime soon but I just really like it and I just think I can make good use of it. So it's got some nice kind of gold accents on it. It even has like a long strap that you can adjust if you want to put it over your shoulder. It also has a little effect there which is just covered up of like a little lady with sunglasses on. And it looks like a nice kind of in-between size for like an overnight stay or something. So it's actually got quite a large pocket in there. Along with a little zip pocket. And I just thought it was really cute. I just really liked that design. Um, it's also said to be worth $150. Um, this brand, Alice and Livia, is quite pricey. And it does feel like it would wipe clean easy. It's got a little um, pocket here on the side, on each side, in fact. And yeah, I just think it was something that I thought would just totally brighten my day and I would really enjoy using. So 
super happy I got that. Customization number two, you could choose from Our Place Lunchbox, which looks like this, and that is worth $35. The Billion Dollar Brows Six Piece Pro Brush Essential Set, worth $62, looks like this. The Jose Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil, $49. I would have been tempted by that, but for some reason it wasn't available to ship to the UK. I don't know why, because it's just an oil and we can buy that over here, so I, I don't know what the deal was that was. Um, the Splendid Faux Fur Slippers in Crystal Pink, $48. I've got lots of slippers and don't need any more of those. The Steel Mill & Co. To Do Planning Bundle worth $45, which is there. The MAC Cosmetics Powder Kiss Lipstick Duo, $42. This is actually one of the lipsticks that was in that collection and I didn't buy it purely because I already own this lipstick. This is work, work, work. So if you get the lipstick combination by MAC, you'll get this as your red. And I really like it. It's like a muted red. Um, and the other colour is like a pinky colour and that's like muted as well. Almost like you've applied a lipstick and blotted it down. Wears well, leaves you with like a lip stain. Nice and vibrant colour, comfortable, love it. I didn't choose that because obviously I already have it. So in terms of the choices, I went for the lunchbox. So this is by a brand called Our Place. We make the kitchen things you need to cook the food you love. And it says this is for the leftovers. Now... I've got a bit of a thing for like plastic boxes and Tupperware and I just love them. I really probably don't need any more but I just love this and I just see this as being something that when we can go out and have picnics again it would be nice for that. It'd also be really good for like taking your lunch to work and stuff. So in the future I definitely think it's something I can make use of. And it's quite, it looks quite nice as well. So it's like a two layered box like this, made out of like a pretty decent quality. I think it's um, recycled bamboo or something. It's got a kind of stretchy thing on the bottom and like rose gold kind of accents. So that's just to sort of hold it in place and stop it spilling. And all you do is lift it off and it opens it also says our place there on the front and then when we open it we've got a knife fork spoon and chopsticks and then if we take this layer off crikey it seals together so well it was actually quite hard to pull apart it's actually got like a silicone thing around it to hold it in place we've then got this bottom layer and this as well that like slots into it so yeah that is the little lunch box like how it has all the utensils and how it all kind of clips together I like the color i'm glad i chose it i like it a lot and it really does kind of clip together quite well and then to top it off just so you can make sure it's super safe there in your bag just to clip those on. So I've already got a brush collection, so obviously that's why I didn't go for that. Um, couldn't get the Jose Moran Argan Oil. The slippers, I've got lots of slippers. Oh, there was also a core toning kit, which I was intrigued by. And that's the kind of fit in FabFit form, but I thought realistically, you're never gonna use it. Um, there's also the planning bundle, Ugh, super tempted because I love planning, but I've got lots of planners and stuff, so I thought better not. And like I said, with the MAC Cosmetics lipstick, I already own this one, so tempting as it was, I had to give that one a pass. So we're now on to category three. Again, everyone can customise this, and your options for category number three are the Verso Super Eye Serum, worth £65. The Alice and Olivia reversible bucket hat worth $85, which matches the bag I got. The Joy Dravenshki um, Chloe ring worth $75, looks like this. And the Bloomingville woven seagrass coasters worth $35. And the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask, which 
wasn't available in the UK were $55. So I went for the Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. This is a 20 mil full size. I think it's about 60 pounds in the UK. This is what the applicator looks like on that. The reason why I chose this is I got a Verso eye cream in my Cold Beauty Advent calendar of 2020. It's brilliant. It's not this one. Um, it was like an intense moisture one, but it's really, really, really good. Um, so I just thought this one's got retinol in. I do use a retinol eye cream. And I thought I'll give this one a try. So I'm really happy about this because this is the sort of thing I would actually buy myself. The bucket hat, although it matches my bag, just isn't me. I'm not really a hat person. The ring, again, not really me. The coasters, I've got lots of coasters, didn't feel the need to get those. And the hair mask wasn't an option here in the UK. So I'm very happy with my eye cream. So now we're on to category number four. So you have to be an annual member and pay for a year up front to customise this. If you don't customise it, FabFitFun will choose for you. So the options were the Sorbus Makeup Organiser worth $30, the Ahava Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel worth $24, the Erno Laszlo C Mud Deep Cleansing Bar were $38. The Lark and Ives Hair Scarf Bundle worth $30. The Grown Alchemist Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf worth $26. And the Elmis Papaya Enzyme Peel worth $45. So I went for the Elmis products. They do great products, Elmis, and I've never actually used this, the papaya enzyme peel, but it gets such good reviews. It is basically a chemical exfoliator. I thought this is a perfect chance to try it. So yeah, love it. That's what I've gone for. I didn't need a makeup organizer, definitely don't need any more cleansers or cleansing bars. I didn't think I'd use the hair scarf. The body cream, I've got lots and lots of body creams at the minute. So this was a no brainer for me and I'm happy to have another Elmis in my collection. Then category number five, again, you must be an annual member, otherwise this will be chosen for you. And the items on offer are the Per Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil, $28. The Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, $25. The Coco Floss Tropical Trio, worth $28. The Summer and Rose Rose Tweezer with Pouch, worth $20. Or the H. Halston Aloe Infused Gel Lined Socks and Pumice Stone, worth $40. I went for the floss. Now, you're probably thinking what a strange thing to choose, but I actually have used this floss before. It came to the UK for a really short while and they sold it in boots and it was really expensive. But I really enjoyed it. And then now it's not available in the UK again. It's basically a flavored gloss and check out this packaging, it's pretty cool. So what they've done here is they've given us a little box that's in um, a plastic container. And then the other two are refills. So once you've used one, you can just like swap it over um, rather than having to have three plastic containers. I like as well on the back of the floss, it actually tells you how long it will last and where you should be up to at 30 days and 60 days. So it should last a while as well. So we've got three flavors. We've got summer watermelon, cara cara orange, and pure strawberry. And there's 99 yards of floss. So quite a lot should last us for a few months. And it says new eco-friendly formats. So I do floss regularly, but I get bored of like mint flavored ones. So the fruit flavor is just something a bit more exciting. So, um, as crazy as it sounds, super happy to pick that up. Didn't need socks and a pumice stone, I already have them, already have tweezers. Didn't feel I'd use the market totes or the face body oil. So again, it was a no brainer for me. I didn't really fancy anything else in there. So in the summer 2021 box, we get eight items. And that's pretty typical for these boxes. We get around that number of items. Um, and the next three picks, nobody gets to pick. They are chosen for you by FabFitFun. So you could either receive each Jules flower hair clip, 
two pack or thirty dollars up here the human and kind hand scrub elderflower and raspberry worth fifteen dollars or the earth harbor marina bio brightening ampule worth 38 dollars which is this one here so like i said i had no choice in this if i could have chosen myself i'd have been tempted either with the hand scrub or the brightening ampule which is what i was sent so this is actually a 30 ml or one fluid ounce it's plant-based vegan cruelty free sustainable fair trade all, all kinds of things and it's contains blue tansy which i love the smell of so it's just like a blue liquid um serum it's like watery almost but it's supposed to be really good it gets really good reviews and it's also the highest value in this category it says this oil features spirulina and blue tansy to vigorously brighten and balance the skin like i said worth 38 dollars the next category you could be sent the sf glow suns out pounce out lip mask looks like this worth 16 dollars the pink sky cactus sipper cup worth 20 dollars which is i guess quite fun but i'm not sure it's something i would ever use it's a bit random or the cali cosmetics body wash worth 22 dollars I believe the body wash wasn't available to ship to the UK. I don't know why, but regardless, if I were choosing, I would choose the lip masks anyway. So we've got four of the lip masks here, all individually wrapped. I do like a good lip mask. These, instead of being like um, a silicone one, are almost like a plaster sort of sensation. But the vegan and they contain Sika and honeysuckle flower extract deeply hydrate and condition the lips for a smoother pout in minutes worth $16 and like I said absolutely the ones I would have chosen finally you will either be sent the say reusable beauty rounds pack of three worth $15 look like this here at the bottom or the Nails Ink Nail Polish in Mayfair Lane worth $15. Being in the UK, it ships from the US. They obviously can't ship nail varnish because it's against regulations and flammable and stuff. So we got the little face pads, which even though I do like nail varnish and Nails Ink and everything, I'd much rather have these because I've got a lot of nail varnish. I kind of don't feel like I need that one. Um, and these are right up my street because these are the little um like makeup remover pads that you can use just with water but i like to use them with cleanser and i get through a lot because obviously you're throwing them in the wash you've got to wait for them to dry and stuff so i'm happy to have some more and some like funky soft ones they all have a little label on as well so they can hang up and i like the little purple accent so i'm personally very very happy with the picks that were selected for me so i'm going to tell you now the total value of everything in my box i'll put it here obviously way way more than i paid for the box but i tend to just choose my items based on stuff i'll really use rather than just getting the most expensive just for the sake of it they also have something called boost my box which is something you can add on additionally to boost the box so I picked this duo which was $19 and this is Ole Henriksen's Banana Bright Face Primer 30 mils and the Truth Serum also 30 mils. So these two in the UK have a combined total of about 70 or 80 pounds and this was $19. So I thought it was a no brainer and I would add it on. If you want to see the other options in Boost My Box check out that customization video I made because I do show that. And they also have a refill subscription where you can add on a regular um, skincare item on like a subscription basis to run alongside your box, but I didn't choose anything from that. So I'm very happy with this spring's FabFitFun box. I was so excited for it to arrive. I've been eagerly tracking its journey and I'm so happy it's here. So I'm so happy with my choices. And I can't wait to go and kind of play with them all. So let me know in the comments if you're a FabFitFun member or if you are thinking of signing up. Like I said, if you are new to FabFitFun, make sure you use the link and stuff under the video. Get yourself a discount. And if you're in the UK and you've got any questions about like shipping or any of that stuff, 
just let me know and I can try and answer as many questions um, as you might have about it. And like I said, check out that customization video because I do think that kind of helps to helps you to kind of understand how to customize. So hopefully that's useful. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.